What's going on guys? We are out here to change an inverter drive and an AOC board in this 2013 Bryant 280 fully variable speed inverter system. Uh, the unit currently works, no problems at all, but I was out here about two weeks ago when the hurricane was here, Hurricane Florence, and found that the transformer was bad and it was all rusted up and looked like it had been getting wet. And if you can see down here on the AOC board, you can see a little bit of rust and a little rust spot down there. Also signs of signs of water. Uh, what we discovered is somehow water was getting in behind the inverter drive and running down and getting on the components which caused the transformer to fail. So we went ahead and submitted uh, this to Bryant and they approved it to replace the inverter drive and the AOC board, although both of them still work. They agreed to go ahead and have them swapped out under the 10-year parts and labor. So super cool of them, but we got our components here, got our inverter, inverter drive and our AOC board. So I don't have a tripod with me today, but uh, I was going to show you how simple this was, but um, basically I'll just describe it to you. We have the unit powered down right now. I'm just letting everything de-energize all these capacitors in here just so it's safe to work on. Usually about three to five minutes and you're good. Um, also use your meter and that'll tell you when there's no voltage but you can see everything is labeled very easily super simple to see and it's literally those five connections for the top three on the bottom the whole inverter drive comes out other than the 5 16 screws of course that go around it um, as far as the AOC board everything is Molex plugs with the exception of the transformer SEC 1 and 2 Everything else is pretty much Molex plugs or dedicated wires. Um, you can see in here, everything is sized for the place that it goes on the board, so it makes it super simple. The only thing you have to remember with the AOC board is you have this model plug down here. And you just want to make sure you take this model plug off and install it on the new AOC board. It's just got two two little resistors on there and that just determines or lets the unit know what size what capacity the system is so we'll go ahead and uh, set that to the side but I'm gonna shut this camera down I'm gonna swap these two parts out real quick literally if you take your time it takes about 10 minutes so super simple but I'm gonna shut this down I'm gonna swap those out and uh, I'll show you once we get ready to fire back up and you guys thought all this stuff was made in China come on Philippines up in here All right guys as you can see we have the inverter drive out It's just the four wires on the top three wires on the bottom and then I think I failed to mention but there's two Molex plugs that go in there also, but other than that pop out a few screws and the whole thing comes out which is right here and one other thing I just wanted to mention, whenever you're doing maintenances on these inverters, make sure you clean these heat exchangers on the back, um, which keeps the inverter drive cool. You can see all the spider webs and leaves and mess that gets in here. Sometimes you'll find an inverter that's throwing like a some sort of over temperature, overheat code. Um, a lot of times it could be because there's debris stuck in this heat exchanger. So just keep that in mind when you're doing maintenances on them. But as you can see, we have the old one out. So I'm going to set that to the side. We'll grab the new one and pop that in. And then we will swap out that AOC board. Old AOC board is out, which is right here. Doesn't really look like it's actually got too much water on it. But uh, you can see down there, which was a little bit concerning couple of the components on there starting to get a little bit of rust on them but yeah and like I said all you got to remember on here is there's a model plug that goes here you want to make sure you take that off of the original board and put that on the new board and it doesn't matter if it goes that direction or if you spin it 180 degrees it doesn't matter it's just two resistors on there that tell the board what tonnage the equipment is is essentially all it does so but three screws hold this in and uh, like I said it's pretty self-explanatory as far as the Molex plugs but I'll go ahead and toss this in there and we'll fire this bad boy up
All right, guys, everything's up and running. It's running at 100% capacity right now, just in a uh, system checkout mode on the user interface. Everything's working, looking good. So we're going to put this cover back on and uh, wrap this thing up. So, yeah, don't get discouraged if you come out to a Carrier Bryant system. You have to change the inverter or the AOC board. Uh, both crazy simple to change. Everything, for the most part, has got a dedicated terminal, um, so it's very hard to mess up super simple so just don't get discouraged if you run across one but other than that i'm going to go take a screenshot real quick of the user interface data on there just to make sure all that checks out and we'll pack this thing up and get out of here haven't made too many videos in the past two or three weeks because of hurricane florence and the historical flooding that's going through my town right now so water is just now starting to recede so hopefully in the next two weeks or so we'll be getting back to normal so i'll be able to put out some more content for you guys i got a bunch of reviews that i needed to get done but uh, everything went on the back burner uh, when we we're dealing with this hurricane so everything's starting to get back in order so should pick up where i left off and get some reviews done and uh, some more service calls so thanks for watching guys thanks for the support like comment subscribe and we'll see you on the next one